Hey guys, Chris Hansen here from Karate Unity. We are here with Elon. Hey everybody, <laughs> Inside Fighting. Yay. Karate, Karate Unity. Unity. Right. At Rise MMA, we're here doing a collab. We did a lot of things today. This video today, we're gonna showcase some highlights from uh, Silat, uh, Silat principles, and how it relates to some of the stuff that I've done in Kempo, Karate, and, and all that fun stuff. So, awesome. Take it away. Okay, hey, so we're gonna look at something very cool today. Something yeah, very important to me. Uh, in Silat, I like Silat, I like traditional martial arts, different than self-defense. There's a very important concept that actually applies to self-defense that I learned in Silat. I'm gonna show a traditional way to do it today, and then, we'll look at the application of it. It's changing lines. So people understand there's inside fighting. So when you punch, I can go on the outside or I can go on the inside. Now this is not necessarily ideal, sorry, because I have to worry about this hand. So if I come on the inside, I have to check this. I have to worry about this. If I come on the outside, you can't really hit me with that. No. I can do leg destruction here. This is the traditional Silat philosophy, right? I go outside and I damage the limbs and this leads me to my takedowns. Sorry. <laughs> or I come inside, and I clear so that I can hit and damage from here too. More traditional, right? Now I can use my feet yeah. to start off balancing them on the inside. I can damage a shin on the inside. But I, what people don't usually discuss is changing the line. Meaning when I go on the outside, I can change to the inside line. You see that? Yeah. And from the inside line, I can change back to the outside line. And then from there, if I want to go back inside, to, I have my head butt here, I can go for takedowns. But at any point, I can rotate back to the inside line. I like that. It's an important concept that people miss, even when we're talking about crashing. Yeah. If we get to here and I start getting worried about that hand, he starts becoming overwhelming. I can change to an outside line. Now I'm on the outside again. Yeah. I can rotate back into the inside if I have to get to here for some reason. Right? But people seem to go one angle. So the way we train it, is here's a traditional C lab entrance. So you're gonna punch at me. I'm gonna parry check nice. to the elbow. This is a, a limb destruction. Was, key note here. If I wanna break your arm and I go down, resist. I can't. Mm. But if I look up to the sky, oh, yeah, the roll. I nice. go up, yeah, 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 yeah. And bow. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's a wave. wave. It's a wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So from here, what we're gonna look at is I can hear, I hit my limb destruction, and then I'm gonna use like a whip. Yeah. Is this your bad shoulder? No, it's good. I'm gonna use it like a, Let's, and bring it to the outside. So, boom. You see how that loads your body up? Yeah. This is already an elbow here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now the way we go back to the outside, let's say I damage him here or whatever I wanna do, I whip. I come under. And then here again, I'm at a two on one. Yeah, yeah. Right, if you fight and you pull your hand back, work right here. You're going, yeah. I have your wrist. I like this, <coughs> I like this. I, I, I wanna add to that. So. What I'm seeing from this is stickiness. So let, let's do the same drill. So let me correct. So you did, so do, do yours again. So I, I do the, yeah, it's a parry check. Okay. So I would, if you throw, so that shot, I'm, I'm going to crack in here and then I'm just going to get heavy here and then start going from here. You know? So, yeah. Let's take a look at that entry once again for some analysis. All right. Here's a scenario where I use a structure to crash in preemptively. A Gedan Barai type of structure where I'm going to be using it to tactile sense and pull down the hand. As you can see, the Gedan technique is used here. It's not a full clearance, but just enough to enter and throw some strikes in. And that's how I use it functionally in karate. It's kind of the same concept where, like, oh, I, I don't know what's going on. So I'm riding that shot. I'm staying sticky here. And I'm going to take this hand. I'm just going to just. Put it down just a little bit and just, I got a pocket here, and then I'm here, boom, and then I'm here, and then I can throw in shot, boom, from here, and just get it. The exact same, but it's taking the traditional seal up movement yeah. and putting in the rhino Close. or those shell positions yeah. and understanding you can go from inside to outside. And if, it, I, it, if you run on the inside, yeah. you can always just go out to the outside. Right. You see what he did? We see what he did here right now? All of these things are, are related to, to karate. So we have, we have a traditional. It's called Gidan. Yeah. So you cross your hand here. But where it's taught on a low level from here. But on a high level, right? All these things, this is relatively long, but on when you shorten these techniques up, right? Here, here's your hands. Your limbs, 
if you keep it close to your head, it's the same technique. See, here, here, here. So it's like you throw the shot, boom, I'm here now. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same technique, but I'm gonna do it, boom. Here, I'm gonna hit this, and then it's gonna hit you right here. And then I take that, bam, smash, and I've got all these kind of motions. Is it yeah. very, very similar? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Inside, inside, outside fight. Name of the and channel then, is Inside Fighting. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Right. Right. Inside, right. outside fighting. And then, correct me if I'm wrong. That parry check, do that parry check. Oh, you want me to do it? Yeah. yeah. Who bud? Right? Yeah. That's who bud right there. This is who bud. All of these drills are who bud drills. Yeah. yeah. And even if, like, obviously, if you come, we're talking about inside, if you come more like a haymaker, here, it's the same idea. Yeah, yeah it's a pass. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. So it all becomes part of the same and flow. You can even flow with this, by the way. So when we do, uh, you know this? Yes. One, two, three, one, two, three, right? So when we do this, I try and make this alive by then coming here. Right. And then yeah. you have all those transitions. Yeah, or yeah, from yeah, there, yeah. you go one more time. So we have here, I go, okay, well, here's my, my next one. Then here, yes. And now we can even do it with elbows. You ever yeah. do this with elbows? Yeah. Oops, sorry. That's okay. Uh, we clear the, we, we collapse the elbow just a little bit of passing. Pass here. And then we pass it like this. Uh, and then under. Go under. I see. And then pin. I see. So boom. So it's kind of like a hook. So the reason we do oh, this, yeah. the reason we do this is because if you do it slow, thing. if I pass, I have to make sure my face is out the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we tend yeah. not to, on horizontal, we tend not to pass things, we tend to crash them. Just crash it. So for me, it's at least. Okay guys, so what's cool here is that Elon's elbow defense is very similar to the stuff that I taught in the UK. Let's check it out. So he throws that horizontal, right? Okay, yeah, so he's, so elbows are done in, in this kind of range, in a, in a kind of clinch chopping range. Elbows are done like this. So if, if you see him do a horizontal, uh, one, of the, one of the best ways, it's not the best way, but one of the best ways is just to shoot up and just kind of stop it right here. That's one, okay? That's one. Another way to do it is go, it's a pak sao, pak sao, it's, it's, it's like a, it's, it's, it's like a wedge. And what this does is it mitigates, it, it provides a ramp for the force. So the force is coming, boom, and you kind of, right, and it goes down like this. And you can also stop it on the other side, boom, okay? Right here, like that. If he throws a, if he throws like a diagonal one, okay, you use the shield again, boom, stop it right here, okay? That's what he's Yeah, it's just kind of snap, 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 right? Um, you can also do a wipe. So he throws the elbow, just to pass it, and then you throw your elbows. Yeah. Uh, this force stuff in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm at range and you, you're coming with an elbow and I frame it right here before putting oh, nice like that in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Jammed it right there in the center. Yeah, right. and it, but it's the same yeah. drill. When we're doing this drill, even with punching, Yeah. and we go from one to one, I can change it to an inside. See how I'm moving it to the inside? And at any point, I can come inside. I'm outside. Exactly. Right. Nice. They're just inside out, but nice. 